Hello everyone, how are you? This is DJ, and today I'm back to do a new review for my newly acquired uh, lather bowl. I purchased this bowl from Etsy. Uh, I can't remember the name of the store right off the top of my head, but I will be sure to put the link in the description down below, so if you want it, uh, you can go ahead and pick it up. Now, it is from Europe. I believe uh, her particular products are made in Latvia. Uh, they are obviously handmade. You can take a look at this and just see the fantastic hand glazing that goes into this. I mean, obviously being uh, handmade, every single one is going to be a little bit different. But, you know, if you like that kind of stuff, then you are definitely going to find this uh, an outstanding looking product. Uh, the interior, obviously, is glazed as well. This is a cobalt blue. This grip on the bottom is fantastic it is seriously grippy i mean you can really get a get a get a hand around that and i mean this is not going to be going anywhere uh, regardless of whether you happen to have wet slippery soapy hands or not the inside of the bowl is lined with all of these uh, circles and ridges which obviously is going to give you uh, a lot of aeration when you get the brush in there and one thing i really like about this bowl is the depth now as a double-edged sword because if you hate the sound of a clanking brush whenever you're trying to build lather you're probably going to hate the fact that this bowl is as deep as it is but it does a fantastic job of keeping the lather in the bowl so because this is more of a bowl review than it is anything else I'm going to use a soap that I'm very familiar with and that will be the Old Spice Original we're gonna put an almond sized dollop in here just like so. Alrighty. And once we have our product in the bowl, I'm also going to use a brush that I'm very, very familiar with, which is my Shea Moisture Synthetic Brush. Uh, reason I wanna kinda use cream that I'm very familiar with and a brush that I'm very familiar with is if I get a bad lather, I wanna know what's causing my bad lather. In this case, all the variables are the same with the exception of the bowl. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. Now, there's there's the sound right off the bat. If, if you are not a fan of that sound, you are not gonna like this product. For me, it doesn't bother me too terrible much. Now, one thing I will say is it is a little difficult to get your brush in here and splay it out, as you can see. Uh, that's gonna probably add to the length of time it takes to build a lather. So uh, one thing I'm gonna do to try to solve that problem is I am going to be relatively generous with the water. So, there we go. We throw some more water in there and we can build up a lather relatively quickly. Now, this is a, a perfect example of what I'm always talking about on my channel when it comes to uh, the Captain's Choice Lather Bowl. If this was the Captain's Choice Bowl, we'd already be lathered into our shave. It is that good. It is fantastic. It looks great. It's a little more compact. This bowl is a little bit more of an awkward shape, and it's a little bit larger. We're going to go ahead and go back to the water here. So, I would definitely say if you're going to get a bowl, get the captain's choice bowl. This one will work, as you can see. Let's check the lather we're building here. And that lather coming out just fine. Nice, smooth lather. It's a little bubbly. Probably needs a little bit more work. Uh, peaks are looking okay. So it will build lather. It is not the most comfortable bowl. Uh, it does develop uh, some very, very loud uh, clinking noises. So if that's something that bothers you, as you can see in this particular video, uh, this is going to be an automatic pass. But I would say this is a passable bowl. If you like the design, you like the look, you like the color, you like the price, check it out. Uh, I would recommend Captain's Choice over this. But if, uh, if you're not into the Captain's Choice for whatever reason, this is a viable option. Thanks for checking it out. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you did not like what you saw, then uh, feel free to give that a thumbs down. I just ask that if you do, please leave me a comment to let me know uh, what you didn't like. 
There's a couple things that I know are issues. Uh, the mic isn't very good. I'm filming on an iPhone. So there's really not much at this point that I can do about uh, sound quality. That being said, uh, if there's anything else, let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you guys checking it out. Thank you. Bye.